Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mutt of Pacific, and I'm here to change your looting world and enhance client. I had done a looting version of this video, and my friend Moonblade asked me how to open up corpses after I made the video. Once I figured out how to use a macro to open up corpses around me without actually clicking on anything, I also realized that I could chain it to send stuff straight to my backpack without with just a single keyboard click. It requires a little bit of setup, so let's get started. First, we're going to hit Escape. Go to Agent Settings. Go to Agents. And create a new one. It's an organizer. We're going to take Organizer 4, rename it, and call it Vacuum. Every time you make a change to something in here, you have to rechange it, reselect it. So going across the top, this will set it as a default. Don't do it. It's a pain in the butt to change it back. You have to delete the agent to change it back. This will add a new agent. This will delete an agent. This will rename the agent. Set default container. Sets the container that it's going to by default. The backpack is the default. So setting this to backpack would actually create a loop where it just sends the gold, picks up gold in your backpack and puts it back in. Do not auto close the container because we want to look at the loot and see if there's anything else we want to pull from the corpse. Once we get in and start looting, we're going to add by type. So I'm going to keep agent settings open. And then we'll just add stuff on the fly right from here. Let's go to the actions menu. Right click on the targeting to keep your drop down. Go to other. There's a couple of things we want to pull off here. We want to pull vacuum. We want to pull, pull close all containers. Corpses count as containers, so this is much more functional than close all corpses. We're going to grab toggle loot bag. Close that out. Now we're going to make a macro. We can go to the main menu to make the macro. You can go to macros. Or you can hit escape. Go to create. I always get my icons and everything set first so I know what I'm working with. I wish there was a way to import icons though. So I chose this because it has the gravestone and I'm going doing bodies. Call it looting. First we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go to targeting. Under targeting, scroll down just a little bit. After follower, you'll find objects. We want target next object. Scroll down a little bit more. Get use targeted object. These two chained together will find any object near you and double click on it. In the case of a corpse, it'll find a corpse and double click on it and it'll be open. Right click, change to other. Go to delay. After an action like click, we want to wait a little bit. We're going to wait one second. And after we wait our one second, we're going to vacuum. What are we going to vacuum? Whatever we have set in this active organizer over here. Click OK. Scroll down in your macros. Find your looting. Drag it over to your loop bar. 
assign a hotkey, loot, L for loot. Now, because I'm going to be getting a lot more gold than I'm used to very quickly, I also want to have a means to send it to the bank. So we're going to create another macro. We're going to send gold to the bank with it. So find our some gold icons. Bank is sending to the bank. You have your bag of sending here. So we're going to go to targeting. Scroll all the way down to target by type. Drag that over. Target your bag of sending. And now the bag of sending is set as the type. Once you select it, target by type is really a select. So if we're going to select it, then we have to use it. Once we use it, we're going to wait for a cursor. So we'll arrow over to the left one and grab wait for target. Now we're set up to add our gold. You can do this, of course, with gold in your backpack, but I made things difficult. Here's my friend DC. Take this. Add it in. Add by type. Add my goal. Close that out. We're going to go here. We're going to finish up this macro. Arrow over right one. Scroll all the way down to target by type. Got it. Select the gold. Now that we've selected the gold, arrow over left. Cursor target current. Now we have a one button key to go to the bank. I don't use this too often, so I'm going to use Shift, which is my second layer of macros, S, for send to the bank. Now let's check it and see, check our handiwork, L. L. Oh, I like that. As you can see, it's fairly smooth. When it opens up, you'll notice that this bar here will grow and shrink depending on your lag. See, see how it took a little delay there? That's going to affect the timer that we have set up for the agent. So sometimes it won't go off. That's okay. It doesn't go off like it did in this case. Next time you activate it, it'll go off on all of the corpses. It's a wonderful thing about the agent. It works on all of the corpses. So even if you miss one, you'll catch it on the next cycle. Another limitation is this doesn't like to run very well for very long. It seems to run out of memory room for the amount of targets it's open. So about every hour or so or every 500 bodies or so, you're gonna, probably going to have to reboot because it'll stop working. As long as you keep the limitations in mind, you're going to have to wait for it to open. You're going to have to wait for this bar to shrink. It is going to skip steps. If you start here, if you see the corpses disappearing when you open like that just did, it tells me that I should probably close all containers and start again. And there's our delay. It didn't pick it up. 
So the second one will. And that's all there is to it. And now you can loot quicker than you've ever looted before. As you fill up, just hit Shift S and send your gold to the bank. Please keep in mind this is not an auto magic fix. This is severely limited by the constraints of the enhanced client. There will be issues, there will be problems. If you expect them, then you can work around them. It does take a little time to work, but it's a lot faster than dragging. Thank you very much. I sure hope this helps. Have a great day.